Okay. Um, so here we need to estimate the turn wooden sphere tailing through the air. Taking its radius as 8 centimeters and its drag coefficient is 0.5. So here <clears throat> we have a, an air resistance uh, given by uh, 1 half C uh, rho air, where that's the density of air, uh, times the cross-sectional area of the object times the velocity squared where that's our drag coefficient, um, our density of air, I'm going to take as 5 kilograms per meters cubed. Our cross-sectional area for our object as the sphere is going to be pi r squared, so that's basically a circle, which would be the cross-sectional area. Um, and then v is our velocity, which we're trying to solve for. Um, so our net, our terminal velocity occurs when um, our downward um, a gravitational force is perfectly balanced by our friction, or when f. So our terminal velocity occurs when our acceleration is zero. So when our friction minus mg is zero or when our friction equals mg. Our, um, our mass can be solved for from our, um, our given density for our sphere uh, times our volume, which for a sphere is um, our density of our sphere four-thirds uh, pi r cubed. And so putting these two together, we have um, one-half C rho air times our cross-sectional area pi r squared times our velocity squared is equal to our density of our sphere times four thirds pi r cubed times g. So this velocity is our is our terminal velocity. So now solving for our terminal velocity or solving for its squared. We have our sphere density times 4 thirds pi r cubed g all divided by uh, 1 half c rho air pi r squared. That r squared is going to reduce that to an r to the 1. There goes the pi and we can take this 2 and multiply it up. So 8 thirds uh, rho sphere g r over um, c rho a. Okay, so now we can start plugging in some values. And so this would be um, 8 times the, um, the density of our sphere is 0 0.8 three zero grams per centimeters cubed. Our G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And our radius is um, 8.00 centimeters. And we're gonna obviously need some unit conversions here. So to convert from centimeters cubed to meters cubed, um, we need to multiply by 100 centimeters per meter cubed. To uh, convert from centimeters to meter, we need another. We need a meter per 100 centimeters. So that'll cancel that one, and that'll cancel this one. 
and um, also to get rid of the the grams per the grams here we're going to need to multiply by um, another factor of a thousand uh, one kilogram per a thousand grams to get rid of the the grams in there and this is going to be divided by um, three times our drag coefficient which is given as 0 0.500 0, times our density of air which is 225 1.225 kilograms per meters cubed so um, then this gram will cancel with that, this kilogram will cancel with that, this meter cube will cancel with this one, and then we're going to be left with a meter squared per second squared, which is our speed squared. So then our VT squared is, once we work through all this in our calculator, 2833.07. or our terminal velocity is 53.23 meters per second. Okay, um, so we can, um, so you can, these, the, here we just start with an equation, uh, which is, which would just be found by, um, by solid, by solving this, so exactly what we have here. Um, so plugging in some values um, with some unit conversions um, at, the, at the top here to get everything into um, the proper units. And then we get about 53.8, um, which I assume must be just differences in rounding. Uh, yeah, and I guess I use 1.225 instead of 1.2. So uh, that would just be the difference there. So this looks good.